and I listened and then I went to I went I went to the music store online and bought the song uh-huh. there on the road mm. and I continued listening and got to the office continued listening to it see you see what that song does to people I don't understand so maybe we should just hear the song mm-hmm. <laughs> okay yeah, let's let's hear. You you're not seeing him yet, but he's going to sing the song. Then you know who we're talking about. Oh, oh, we, we just, sing, <laughs> just sing the song. Just sing the song. God, do we know? Not God, do we know? Not God, do we know? I mean, tell me you don't know that song. <laughs> just go ahead and tell me that lie that you don't know that song. Uh, I don't know that song. Everybody knows that song. <laughs> Man, woman, that child. Song. <laughs> everybody sings that song. Yeah. Corede Bello. Thank you very much. For Welcome to Sunrise. Thank you very much. Good Lord, your song rocked our world. Amen. God is really, you know, <laughs> God, God is winning every day. He's winning. <laughs> Corede yeah. Bello is a Nigerian singer and songwriter, uh, currently signed to Maven Records, and he's best known for his hit single, God Win, a Sami gospel and pop song which topped many music charts in Nigeria. Thank you for it's good me. to have you with us, Corinne. Thank you for having me. Man. Now we, we we understand that you started performing at seven. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, it happened uh, in my primary school. That's when I, I think I first discovered my talent. Yes, I was in the the dramatic club, one of them, you know, social activities club. So um, you know, I just got in front of the class and took out my uniform and I was singing. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. And I was acting like Mike Jackson, I was dancing. <laughs> and I knew that, oh, there's something here for me. And <laughs> you were called me. the African Prince. Yes, I was called African Prince. Um, yeah, not then immediately, but yeah, before. Yeah. So why did you drop the African Prince and chose to go by your name, Corrida Bello? Oh, the African Prince was just an alias. I've always been Corrida Bello. When I decided to, when I got into music professionally, put on my first song, I, it was as Corrida Bello. So you chose to go by your name. You didn't yeah. want a stage name, no, a performance name. No, sir. Although it was very, um, it was weird at that time because everybody else was using an alias and something like that. But I noticed that. The legendary names, the people who have, you know, stood the test of time, not just their music, but they go by their name as well. And um, I, I want to, my name to go down in the books as, you know, one of the greatest. So. But, but, but Corrida, you look so young. Young enough, old enough. Huh? <laughs> young enough, old enough. So what did releasing that hit single do to your life? Oof. Um, it did a lot actually, it did a lot. It opened plenty of doors for me. The song, you know, it brought me before presidents, it brought me before kings, and um, just exactly how the Bible said it. And um, But one very amazing thing about the song is it caught beyond every barrier, every wall. What did I say? Man, every man, barrier, child. every wall. Muslim, Christian, kings, old, young, everybody, everybody was testifying or attesting to the fact that God wins. It's a universal truth. It is a fact that God wins. And when you say that, anytime you sing God wins, you're praising God, you're worshipping God, you're saying He ultimately wins, He's, He overcomes. And I think that is one of my greatest, um, what, what do, how do I say it, um, one of my success stories. Are you a gospel singer? I am not a gospel singer, but I sing good news. If gospel is about singing um, the good news, and maybe yes, I am a good news singer. But um, good I'm not restricted singer. to. I'm What's not the restricted. difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, because gospel, if you say gospel singer now, people will say, oh, it's just church music. Uh-huh. That, well, if you're asking me about God church music, is not church music. <coughs> Very danceable music. Um, I'm not restricted to singing about church music alone. Okay, you sing um, secular as well. I sing love and togetherness. That's my music. That's my journey. Okay. That's one. Love okay. and togetherness. So uh, why go do like that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> because you know I'm a young guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cody. Let's talk about you. Uh, she said. She said something. You look so young. I mean, you done with school? 
I'm actually doing my final year. I mean, my, I, with the I huge success project. you've gotten, why didn't you just, I mean, go Sing. focus on the music. Sing. Because Sing. I'm, I'm an advocate for, you know, being literate and taking education seriously. Literate doesn't mean you have to get a degree? No, it doesn't, but um, I want to use myself as an example for other young people, aspiring musicians, that because you're singing doesn't mean that, you know, you cannot, you know, have something um, concrete, education-wise. But um, okay, that's something in the basket over there. <laughs> well, I'll I'll uh, talk to you when I need. <laughs> but for well, now, I want to sing. True, because because to be honest, um, there's a lifespan to everything. You're not always going to be singing forever. If you want to call it a backup plan, yes. Might do. <laughs> Ray Charles sang until he was old. Um, Sachma sang. I mean, uh, Stevie Wonder sings. He's still singing. singing. True, but today, in the world that we live today, every is the the lifespan is, is much more um, shorter, and um, you can check this out by yourself. Um, the reason is because people there's so much music now. Unlike before, they were just had you know the Ray Charles. The, there were just a few of them that were re really prominent. But now people have access to music all around the world. There's so much platforms to listen so to music. So how are you on. able to combine your academic work, the demands in class? Because I know I, I have a feeling. I think you yeah. mentioned the school you attend, mm -hmm. and the demand is quite high. So how are you able to combine that? And concerts, engagements, rehearsals. To be honest, um, it hasn't been easy, especially when you're in a school that requires 70% um, attendance. Um, it hasn't been easy at all. But so you mean they didn't cut you any slack seeing that you're a star in this uh, school? <laughs> 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 no, they didn't. Even when they tried to, you know, it, it, it didn't turn out well, especially because it feel, it feel like they're trying to favor me over, you know, the rest of it, and I don't want to be seen like that. So I try as much as possible to meet up with the demands. As a normal student, not as not as the credible everybody knows, I want to, you know, be accorded respect as a you know a student, regardless of the position, and um, I try to obey rules, regulations, and everything. Be on the good side of. You obey the rules. Yes, my dear. I'm okay. just uh, trying to picture Michael Jackson obeying, obeying the, the rules, rules. <laughs> <laughs> and the picture eludes me. <laughs> Well, well, you go to school, though. Okay. But we, we, we'll take a moment. When we come back, we'll talk about your relationship with your your elder peers. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, mm -hmm. your, your boss, okay. Don Jazzy, Tio right. Savage, mm -hmm. Dr. Seed, all those people that are your seniors, your elders, yet mm -hmm. you still work with them, and they almost treat you as if you're equals with them. So we'll come back and talk okay. about how you're able to handle that. <laughs> Please don't go away. Romantic, say you make me feel good, Mr. Romantic. I'm to show you a photo. 